Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. I timidly adventure all over the world. Today I'm going to show you a rare to find hotel outside of Japan that is one of my favorite places, a capsule hotel. But not just any capsule hotel, a space hotel in Berlin, Germany. When you first arrive, you're greeted by an astronaut and the reception. You're given a locker and a card with your pod number on it, which enables you to open up the pod. There's an option to get a one-person pod or a double pod. I obviously got a one-person pod. Going solo, always. If you've been following me a long time, you know that I visit another space capsule hotel in Australia, which was very similar to this one. You get a range of lights, you get a blanket, a pillow, and a towel. This particular hotel did not have a kitchen area, but most of them do. I like this one because you get individual bathroom stalls, so you get the toilet and the shower all to yourself. And it's time for me to get ready for bed. One thing I hate about traveling is having to pack everything and unpack everything constantly. You never have a stable spot to put your things. I make it work somehow though. You have to keep your little routines no matter where you are or how much you travel. It helps. Good water pressure, nice water, wash off all the stressful days of traveling to get here. As you can see, they have a lot of bathroom rooms, so it doesn't get too overcrowded, which is really nice. I don't like hostels or capsule hotels because of the fact that you, you can't put all your stuff in one spot. You have to kind of put it in a locker and in your bed, which is kind of annoying to get in and out of. All right, all done. Now it is time for bed and let's wake up. And you can't really tell when it's morning or night because there's no windows. It's a very weird feeling. Also, there is air vents so you don't suffocate. Even though there is no AC, there are vents to blow air throughout the pod so you don't, so it's not too bad at nighttime, but I like to be extra cold when I sleep. You have a lot of light options, which obviously I love because I'm obsessed with lighting. There's also this cute little table that is collapsible. Um, there's no outlets in this one, just for USB cord. And the other one I've been to, there was actual outlets, but you can put your computer on here or whatever. So that's my little tour. I hope I covered enough. I know this is a very short video. It's time for us to leave this location and travel along to our next adventure. If there's anything I missed or if you have any questions, comment below and I always like to respond to them. All right, aliens, it's time to leave the spaceship and do some laundry, actually. Let me take you along my little laundry run because I found a really cool laundry mat. Oop, gotta get some cash because I always forget to carry money with me. So let's run to the ATM. But anyways, this laundromat is really cool because it is a cafe and a laundromat combined into one, which is a really good idea if you're waiting around. Also, the coffee and the muffin was delicious, so that's a bonus. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, like, I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video.